So if you remember when A.H. was on the stand, she decided to bring Kate Moss into her testimony. And there's plenty of clips out there where you see J.D.'s lawyers get very, very excited that she mentioned her. Well, now we know that she will be testifying on Wednesday. So this is going to be for rebuttals. And there's a lot that's going to happen in that. Kate Moss has, I don't think, ever been included in any in any of the stuff before this, but now she's coming in. Turns out Kate Moss and JD are still pretty good friends. And this whole this whole apparent incident where she gets Push downstairs is about to get dismissed forever. So she's coming in, and she's never said this, but apparently uh, A.H. has wanted to push this thing that she's been pushed downstairs before, and that's going to get destroyed on Wednesday when she takes the stand and says that that never happened. So I don't know if she's coming into the trial, Okay, here it is. The British Fashion Icon 48 will testify via video link on Wednesday. So that's pretty cool. That's going to be damning for AH because she brought her into this and said, oh, I heard he did this before and he didn't. Uh, That was a lie. That one mistake that she made was bringing up Kate Moss, which potentially opened up the door to Depp's team bringing Moss in as an impeachment witness. And Moss saying this never happened, which I guess she has come out and said. I remember when A.H. brought this up in the U.K. trial, and everybody was running headlines on it. Everybody was talking, he did this to Kate Moss. And she came out and was like, no, no, that didn't happen. So it shows that she's just, you know, you can't take her word at, at any kind of value. For her to do that, that was a dumb move. So now they're going to impeach her on Wednesday, and she's going to look really bad. So that's good stuff. Uh, The other thing that happened today was a psychologist or psychiatrist, because in in this they say he's a vice chair of psychiatry and behavioral science, but that is David Spiegel. Uh, He was on the stand for a little bit of time pretty much giving diagnoses on on Mr. Depp that you're not really allowed to do based on the ways he did it. But that's not stopping Newsweek and other outlets to run headlines saying that Depp was diagnosed with this now, which you knew was going to happen. So they're out there trying to say that he was diagnosed with this stuff and that this guy uh, destroyed him or whatever which isn't the case. In fact, it looks like he may have committed an ethics violation. Uh, It was an ethics violation for Dr. David Spiegel to testify about J.D.'s psychological traits without evaluating him. Spiegel acknowledges the rule against giving opinions about people they have not evaluated, but does it anyway. Per the American Psychiatric Association Ethics Rule 7.3, it is unethical for a psychiatrist to offer a professional opinion unless he or she has conducted an examination and has been granted proper authorization for such a statement. It's called the Golden, the Gold Water Rule. Ethical rules were created to maintain the legitimacy of the profession to keep psychiatrists from giving uninformed opinions. The judge denied A.H.'s request for an evaluation of J.D., so Spiegel should have not criticized Depp, should have not criticized Depp for not submitting one. An evaluation was absolutely needed. Spiegel failed to mention the limits of his own opinion based on a record review. By the way, his attorney did make uh, sushi of doctors. He destroyed him on on cross examination it was it was pretty entertaining to watch i have to say so this guy may have committed an ethics violation today i wonder if he'll get any trouble for it so that was a really interesting cross here's another little interesting fact on dr spiegel well not a fact an allegation 
sorry, I don't I don't want to say it's a fact because I don't know if it's a fact, but uh, this comes from that umbrella guy's Twitter, and he's got some reviews of Doctor Spiegel. This one's rather interesting into his character. Apparently, this person's stepfather had some issues. And he was an alcoholic as well. He had been a patient of Dr. Spiegel for years with medication thrown at him. After rehab, he never returned up or returned our calls. We called stating he was locked in a room, suicidal, and he never called us back. When he finally did and said he would follow up and never did, my stepdad is not with us anymore. Spiegel does bare minimum treatment to push meds and then doesn't care if anything happens to you. I got another one right here. Horrible and inconsiderate of patient well-being. He took three days to get back to me only to tell me that he wasn't going to be filling my prescriptions and to find another doctor. After my provider in his practice left abruptly and no one was left to take her place. He turned his back on me knowing I was out of my medication and I was given the option to just go to the ER if I started to feel any worse. I will tell everyone how poorly I was treated by the doctors at EVMS Psychiatry. So these are well before the trial, by the way, September 10th, 2021. The other one, which is absolutely horrible, is from three years ago. So I think it's fair to say that these aren't review bombs. You could also tell a lot from the way he was getting kind of flustered and angry when he was on the stand, like, He's got very little patience, doesn't like criticism, doesn't like being told he's wrong, and just not a very good doctor. And I wonder if anything will happen with this. Probably not. I, was, I would wonder if it, he's going to get in trouble for this ethics violation because it was true. How do you diagnose someone? You never gave an evaluation, evaluation to the man at all, but you're making these, you're making these diagnoses on him? That's not the way it works. It's not the way it works. So he looked really bad. Turns out he is somewhat of a bad doctor, just based on this one alone. This is gross, uh, the way he treated this man who's no longer with us. But not all not all is bad today. Kate Moss coming. Kate Moss is going to destroy some testimony that's already been laid out there, and I'm very, very much looking forward to hearing what she has to say on Wednesday. So... Uh, I think J.D. will be on the stand today, and then looks it looks like they're going to run all of their time out to the last minute. So they might not they might not rest their case. A.H. might not rest her case until tomorrow, which is crazy. Why would you run all of your time out like this? They're not going to be. There's going to come a, a time where they can't they can't do anything. And J.D.'s team has like 18 hours. They'll be able to take like an entire day and a half. Of, of just doing and saying whatever they want. If I'm if I'm understanding that right from watching Rakeda's live stream, so that's gonna be that's gonna end up backfiring in Ah's face. So we'll see what happens. Either way, this week should be really interesting. I can't wait for the rebuttal days. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.